coming back with part two. So, now let's get on to uh, Erica and Scrappy dis and discussing this child support thing. So, Erica arrives home, Scrappy's there with a moving van, getting the rest of his shit out of her damn plate. Uh, uh, and then, you know, he starts shooting the shit, talking about, uh, selling her dreams. Selling her dreams. And she let him know, no, baby, you will not be selling me dreams by the gallon any longer. I already told you, you had one more time to fuck up, and that was it. So, she wasn't trying to hear it no more, basically. And so, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad she didn't fall for it. So then he's gonna tell me, oh, but you still finna watch, look out for me on that child support, right? Ah, wrong answer. Baby, he's trying to get her to take him off child support, but just a couple of weeks ago, when she asked him for some damn coins, he did not get Oh, I didn't get around to it. Damn, he ain't got around to it. He ain't gave her nothing. He ain't got nothing. And this, that, and the other. And she like, oh, uh, no. And then she said that he had got two lump sums of money. Yeah. And he told her to put some back for the baby. And he told my, don't you worry about what I got to do. That's because you ain't did it, honey. That's because he ain't did it. Evidently, you ain't heard too much about your child. And talking about he ain't got to put do proof nothing Proof nothing on her. Nothing and her. Up. Okay, if you did it. You, that wouldn't even came out your mouth. You would have just showed her the paperwork because you would be glad you done done that for your child. He ain't doing mm. shit. So anyway, girl, do not take his ass off child support. You did no. the right thing. You so anyway, did. what happened after that? So now we move on to Benzino, Benzino and Carly. Benzino and Carly. Oh, honey, they having this candlelight dinner at Benzino house. And she up in there with her little outfit on, and but, he acting all giddy and shit. Oh, baby, he done, he done uh, made her a lobster meal, honey. <laughs> you know, she probably ain't had a lobster before in her 50 girls. Talking about love is in, love is in the earl. <laughs> you don't even know this woman. Show sure don't. And you talking about love is in the earl? <laughs> right. Whatever. They whatever. Saying whatever, whatever. Anyway, anyway. Just fine. He, he done bought some type of present. But I know. Sitting all in this lap, lying to each other with them nasty kisses. <laughs> 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 Okay, you don't need to be keeping dipping off 
in that well, you need to leave it alone if you want to be with Mimi. Yeah. That's if you want to be with Mimi. And he done talking about he done concocted this plan to get Mimi back. And BC done was like, okay, well, what is this plan? And, oh, uh, Whatever. Okay, he, so. he, he ain't going to be right. So, uh, on to yeah, the next. He done concocted this plan, he, but he still jacking around with, with, with Jocelyn. And Jocelyn probably finna just kind of cut him off. Cause she getting back tired of the stuff too. Yeah, it's so Cause he playing she, both of them. Yeah, as soon as she get in with this other producer, she probably gonna go on about her business. Mm hmm And so, oh yes, and see this part I really liked. Erica goes and meets up with her mama filet mignon. Me ain't mignon. And honey for and she uh and they was talking about, you know, how they going with you and scrappy. And they, oh yeah, everything going uh okay, but you was right. He tried to hit me with the okie doke, tried to get me to take him out of for Basically, Filet Mignon told her, no, no, you are not going to be taking him out of for Either he going to do what he got to do by force or voluntarily. Already. Baby, baby you ain't going to take him out. Don't fall for the motherfucking game. Already. And she might, she might go meet up with my dear and let her know the deal, too. Yeah, Filet Mignon, baby, she was baby, she you know. like she buzz none. She yes, buzz none. Yes. She was giving it to her like a T.I. And Je um, Erica should have been listening to her mama from the very from beginning. From the very beginning. Because her mama knew what the hell she was talking about. Yeah, she, like, she hell know up. about these niggas. Yeah, she know about them. Mm -hmm. So, I really like that meeting, and I'm glad Erica stuck to her gun. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, child. Kirk and Rashida. So, mm -hmm. it's time for Rashida to let Kirk know. That she took a meeting. Fire your ass! <laughs> <laughs> that she took a meeting with the other management company. Mm. Needless to say, Kirk Ooh. wasn't pleased. And he was like, so what do you say? Am I fired? Hell yeah, you fired! <laughs> you bringing these damn homeless people up in my little old shoe? I'm trying to make money. Hell, these people ain't gonna give me shit. They looking for a meal. Man. Oh, baby, he was not pleased, you know. He started talking about how he was holding her down for the last 17 years. He was bringing it to a personal level instead of the business level yeah. that it was on. He wasn't happy, and she was like, I don't want to say that you fired, so she walked away crying. And let me tell, let, let me say it for you, baby. <laughs> Fire your ass! <laughs> you are fired! Fire. So, you know, she walked away crying, and uh, that was a touch-and-go situation. It, it was crazy. So, at the uh, very end of the show, Jocelyn meets up with Mimi to talk about how Stevie J is trying to play both of them. Stevie J telling both of them, you know, this, that, and the other, and, you know, he playing both sides of the offense, basically. Yeah. And so, she apologized for calling Mimi. And threatening, threatening her, her. And, and then she started crying. I don't know what she was saying. She was sounding like a damn dog being drug under a fence. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. She sounded like a manly dog. I mean, it was just, I don't know, but you know, they basically done came to the conclusion that Stevie J is just it's, some bullshit. Yeah, and we gonna kiss by so Mimi doesn't believe Jocelyn's half ass apology, and that's how the show ends, you know, with them and they love me. So, I'm having horrible camera battery problems, so we're going to end this video. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay tuned for what to watch us next week talk about this show again. And tomorrow, I'm supposed to be able to do a video on Mother's Hair finally before she has it looking like a hot mess. Mess! No! Don't say that. Bye. <laughs> Thanks everybody for <laughs> What movie was she in? Thanks everybody for watching. I was in Gone with the Wind. Y'all know what she used to say. She used to say that she was in Luke video. Uh, what was it? Hydraulics? Uh, uh, Y'all remember Luke? Pop, pop, pop. That Luke. She claimed that she was in one of his videos. And honey, you know, I, I used to believe that. Pop, pop, and that thing. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching.